Hello everyone, I am of course John Doe, and we're going to do another edition of the da, 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 Ghost Letters Report. Now, as a lot of you are aware, there's a high amount of corruption that goes on with the Fukushima cleanup and recovery effort. Well, recently it came out that a Fukushima government official sold 181 dosimeters that had been set aside by the government to help with... Um, medical and emergency staff working in the area to pay off his own credit card debt which he incurred by his extreme gambling problem. He was uh, had a gambling problem with a quasi-legal uh, gambling here in Japan known as Pachinko. So this type of person and his low moral standards was in charge of this these materials. St extremely just disappointing that the corruption just keeps going on and on and on but not even medical emergency staff can be assured to have dosimeters now if you're not aware if you're working up in Fukushima the cleanup or recovery or medical relief and things like that it's extremely important that you know what your dose radiation exposure rate is you have to keep accurate records of it because once you reach a certain level, you have to leave. You're you being exposed too much, so you gotta get out of the area, and that occurs over time. The longer you stay there and work there, so this guy didn't care about all that. It's all about his individualist agenda. You know, he was an official, so probably getting paid decently well. Instead of you know being wise. He goes around gambling like a fool, throws away all his money, and then says, hey, how can I bail myself out of this? Oh, I know. I'll take these dosimeters here that I'm in charge of. They're supposed to be for people actually doing something good with their life. I'll sell them off, and I'll pay my credit card. God damn. You know? Now, the only reason he was caught is because one of his buyers uh, took the dosimeters to, a, to the manufacturer for some repairs. And they ran the serial numbers and found, hey, these actually belong to the Fukushima prefectural government and there has been no bill of sale when they contacted the Fukushima officials. Now this guy's in hot water. Now what's going to happen to him? I don't know. You know, I haven't read anything about charges filed against him, although I assume he's been arrested. But this just points out the continually high level of corruption and stupidity that goes on with the cleanup effort and disaster recovery that goes on in Fukushima. Now, if you go up there trying to do some good, you're going to fall into a whole mess of trouble. And this is one of those things. You know, these are medical staff too. People are not even involved in the cleanup. They're trying to help people who get sick from working up there. And you're going to take away their dosimeters some personal agenda so they don't even know how much they've been exposed to oh man see everything up there is about some greedy money it's a money hole up there and this keeps on going on and on and on that's why one, one of the main reasons why the situation at Fukushima doesn't improve significantly because everybody's up there saying money money you got the yaks Exploiting the hell out of workers. You got TEPCO trying to save their ass left and right, cut corners. You got the national government, the head between their legs, going, oh, everything's fine. We're going to restart reactors. Don't worry about Fukushima. You got local officials corrupt as hell. You know, exploiting money left and right, selling off things that are meant for their cleanup and recovery effort. So I thought I'd do a video pointing this one out. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. If you like this video, hey, share it around. If it's first time you've seen me, hey, subscribe, 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 right there. Until next time, this is me, John Dole, here in Tokyo. Check it out.